What do y'all do? It looks like y'all sit in y'all offices and eat Chinese food and talk about the little girl whose mama drops her off late every single day, all day, every day. Like I said what I said, I meant what I said, and that's what I am saying. Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. It's Trinity where I do whatever I want. Alright, so today, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be giving you my unsolicited, unfiltered, unpopular opinions, school edition, period. We're going to be indoors, so I did try to, like, you know, incorporate some indoor unpopular opinions. And some of the things I didn't even realize were unpopular opinions until I asked other people about it. Before we get started, go ahead and click that subscribe button if you're already liking what you see. And when you do click that subscribe button, make sure to turn those that post notification bell on so you can be uploaded every single time I post. Excuse me, I'm over here patting my head. Because it also, go check out my Instagram and my Snapchat, but I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. And I already got like my book. It's a cute book. Got my book of opinions because I wrote them down, baby. Y'all finna listen to what I got to say. Oh, disclaimer, before I even get started, these are my opinions, not yours. I have the right to have my own opinion, and even though you may not agree with my opinion, um, yeah, it's my opinion, and it's unpopular, so you're probably not going to agree with it anyway. And that's the tea. Without further ado, let's get on to the video. Number one, online school is most definitely better than in-person school. And the thing is, the thing is, I did not know that was even an unpopular opinion until I was on TikTok one day and there was this boy who's like, People have the choice between regular school, like going to school and online school and they choose online school. And I was like, wait a second, I have an unpopular opinion about that? People truly, the majority of people, The majority of hold up. So basically, I checked, I checked the power to that, which is feeding. And then it's not even like it was one person. Like these were multiple people saying this. And I watched some people that are actually choosing to go back to school. Some people that are decorating their college dorms. And I'm like, what? Y'all would rather go and risk catching Corona, especially where I go to school. I don't know how y'all people are raised, but. Kids just don't have good hygiene, period. It don't matter. It's like people don't have good hygiene at all. So if I go back to school, the chances of me catching corona is so serious. Like when we when we got off, people literally were already doing the coughing jokes. Like I promise you, like people were coughing, people were sneezing. This one girl in my class, she was like sneezing and coughing and all this, that and the other. Like they were already doing that before the pandemic even started just because of jokes of corona and y'all expect me to go back to school also i'm not about to sit in a school for six hours with no mask on it's hot and i just don't and i can't and then it's like that's just like i don't even know how to explain it like i get better grades at home and some people may be like what like that doesn't make sense like because Khan Academy doesn't help doo -doo -doo. like some people were saying Khan Academy doesn't help Khan Academy helps me baby and i I literally finished my freshman year and I know it's freshman year like it's easy everybody says it's easy but I still finished with a, a 4.0 and I'm in I want to like people want to say freshman year is all easy but my freshman year is more like a sophomore year because of the type of classes I am in and the curriculum that I'm in and the program I'm in <laughs> not trying to flex but <laughs> so I was able I do better online than anything else and i don't know if it's because i'm getting a little bit of extra help or i it's like <laughs> like i took another course an extra course and i got an a on that course it was algebra 2 so now i'm taking pre-cal as a sophomore and like i suck at algebra but i got an a in that course because i took it at home if i would have took that at school i don't know what i would have got because it's just 10 times harder for me and sometimes the teachers don't even work for me so yeah if i do have to choose <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure this side wins. Ding, ding, ding. I'm staying home, not catch corona, not putting anybody in my family at risk because people play too much and school ain't the move anyway. Every like social interaction, 
y'all we ha it's 2020 like use your phones if you want to see your friends that bad see like you're allowed to see up to 11 i wouldn't see that many people though that's that's a lot of people see them get let, let them get tested let you get tested maybe you can see them you can hang out with them you can even they can even come to your house and y'all just do a little thing as long as it's just y'all like no big social gatherings <coughs> hype house so like you know don't like i don't understand like people really want to go to school for some kids some friends that you can easily call um i don't know maybe i'm just not that big of a people person but i am like i'm a social butterfly but i feel like there are other ways of communication maybe that's just me but yeah if i had to choose i'd most definitely choose at home school because miss rona not about to get this girl i know some kids have rough at home situation so it's completely understandable to why they want to go back to school middle school if middle school are the most childish human beings in the earth like ever like you may be like no elementary no 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 middle school like there is something psychologically wrong with middle schoolers like middle schoolers scare me to this day scare me like i i cannot walk past the group of middle <laughs> it's like some everybody's like something is psychologically wrong with everybody in the middle school there's not like no way around it. Like if you're in middle school, something's wrong with you. It's okay. Something wrong with everybody. All right. This is one that people are gonna most definitely get on my head. People are on my head for this before, but it's just my personal opinion. Basketball games are most are better than football games. Look, I like I really, really, really like football games. Don't get me wrong, but I, what? And I don't know. Maybe it's just my school, but. Like I went to this basketball, I went to I went to a whole bunch of football games during squad school, and I went to like two basketball games, and my my team actually made it to the championship, and I think don't quote me, but I know it was like they were like top in the county basically. Football games, it's either real hot. Well, actually, have I been to a football game where it was been hot? Cause it's like fall. So football games, I remember just being freezing cold at some football games, like freezing cold. But then there are some that I'm pretty sure that I wasn't cold at but you know i could be wrong um i'm just cold uh it's so big it's outdoors i'm not really an outdoorsy person football games are cute for like pictures um i personally like the sport basketball better than football football i still enjoy the football sport but i don't know the football games where i go to school they get real ghetto real quick so i prefer basketball because i just feel like they're more regulated less people are there um it's indoors so you don't have to i don't know it's like i just like the indoors feeling it's brighter so i can see better it's easier to like understand everything that's going on and we're also in a more concentrated like area um don't i'm trying to sound smart oh my gosh i like both but i just happen to prefer basketball over football good grades don't make you smart I don't know if it's just an unpopular opinion, but good grades do not make you smart. Let me tell you something. It still irritates me to this day Can when I- Can I watch it to Max? I don't know. Ask mommy and daddy. Come on, you just say hey? No. no you better stop. Uh -uh. You better stop. Yeah, you did. Pop her butt. It used to blow me, and it still blows me to this day, how, like, there are kids at other schools, easier schools, and they get better grades, and they don't do nothing. Like, they sit in class on their phones all day. And then, I mean, if that's their school, that's their school. I'm not going to, like- knock them for their thing but like you can get good grades and it, like grades don't mean nothing like i get colleges look at grades but grades do not mean anything like even if it's hard at your school good grades can honestly just be but the door now the door is too 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 small but if you work hard you can get good grades and you're not necessarily smart i know kids like i have friends that will literally get the best grades and then still not know it so that's me like i'll literally get good grades because teachers know my work ethic ethic they know my work oh. <laughs> they know my work ethic and stuff and then like my actual like when it's time to come for the test i'm like i don't know nothing and i don't know if it's just the test because testing is stupid too it's another opinion i have testing is stupid because it's just like that's immeasurable like no like ugh, i don't know how to explain it but grades do not make you smart point blank period depends on your rigor your curriculum all the classes you're taking sometimes sports because if you're taking sports you don't have time to study it's all that grades do not make you smart period i mean they can but they really don't like grades are not how i determine somebody's intelligence 
the grading system also isn't fair that's another opinion i have because like i said like some schools are so different we'll all be in like 10th grade right let's just say we're all in 10th grade different schools will have the same curriculum but teach it different ways have different teachers that teach it like it's so irritating when it's like okay i got the easy teacher like even in schools like there are people that get the easy teacher and then people get the hard teacher and people that get the hard teacher are not getting that b in the class or the a in the class they're getting like that b because they got the hard teacher and everybody else got the easy teacher and we're taking the same course and you're getting an a on it and i'm getting a b on it and i'm not trying to blame teachers for everything because i really hate when people do that like yeah. teachers aren't to blame for every single thing that happens in school but they are to blame for a lot of the stuff and a lot of these teachers need a reality check because i'm sick and tired of them always coming and playing with me about my grade freshman student council is pointless well at least in my school if you guys did not know your girl was vice president of the 2023 freshman class <laughs> getting up there period and here's the thing the only thing being vice president did was give it like give everybody the blueprint to continue to vote for me every single year like if you're gonna run don't expect to do nothing just run because if you run just run because you want to be president or vice president or whatever your position is every single year because people will vote for the same person honestly in my opinion like that's how i feel like it was like the majority of the people that are president and vice president now they've been president and vice president ever since and that's also how it was in middle school our president went all the way through and so our presidents are most our student council is probably going to go all the way through like we had to play in spirit week and we first of all we didn't get no help our sponsors were trash here's the thing if you have a bad sponsor as a senior everybody's going to jump on your case even sometimes as a junior like everybody's going to be there to support you underclassmen um sponsors are i'm an underclassman like literally like they get no help sophomores get a little more help than freshmen but freshmen it's like so pointless to run as a freshman unless you just want to you know continue run year after year after year so you like it just gives students like okay i'm about to be your president for the rest of the years because honestly just put you there they don't let you do anything the majority of the money goes to the older like groups which there's no problem it's their senior year it's their junior year like they deserve it um you don't really get votes on things so don't get mad when you're a freshman and they're freshman class like people in the freshman class and they're not doing anything depending on the school usually freshmen get no choice which mean don't get to do anything don't get mad at your freshman presidents for not being able to do much because they can't it's nothing much for them to do they get no control and then their sponsors like they don't really do much with sponsors and stuff because nobody checks on the sponsors and make sure sponsors are like teachers that sponsor each council as a freshman nobody checks on your sponsor and make sure that they're doing the right thing so like your sponsors are supposed to help you plan events they're supposed to be the voice of guidance You're, they're supposed to hold meetings like all the time i didn't have no meetings period like no meetings at all and i mean honestly i'm not truly truly complaining but i'm just saying don't walk in freshman year and join student council and think you're about to change the world not you don't even expect to do that as a sophomore honestly wait like junior and senior year and that's when you can start making changes so i can't wait till my junior and senior year because that's when i really can start doing stuff but for now it's just a wait and i'm going to learn everything i know from the junior and senior so by the time i get there i know exactly what to do annoying kids aren't limited to a grade it gets on my last nerves when people are like class of 2024 they're built different class of 2025 they're built different class of 2026 they're built different like when the 90s kids used to be like y'all are 2000 like uh uh like gatekeeping stuff like baby you might have been born and then they'll be born in like the last freaking like they'll be born in 1999 and they'll be like oh you don't know these this stuff like y'all are acting like millennials stop it it's disgusting stop doing that stuff i hate it when they're about to be like oh my gosh freshmen are coming freshmen are so annoying da, 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 da. i don't know about y'all but when i was a freshman okay, i have talked to people younger than me and i've talked to people older than me annoying is not limited to the year you were born they're annoying seniors they're annoying juniors they're annoying sophomores they're annoying freshmen and they most definitely are annoying college people they're annoying adults period like i really hate when people try to be like no 20 2004 and up is elite 2003 and up is elite 2005 and up is elite 2006 and up is elite like if you graduate this year there's something seriously wrong with you no bro like y'all all are annoying and if you say that you're just even more annoying if you sit there and think that because of a age that something's wrong with you like i can't believe there are people born after 2011 like shut up y'all y'all are so irritating irritating 
<laughs> it's universal. Students should not be required to have supplies. Let me elaborate. So basically, I'm fortunate enough to have parents that can provide me with the school supplies, every school supplies and extra school supplies that I need to go throughout my year. But I hate when teachers are like, okay, if you don't bring a, cause there are teachers that do this. They're like, if you don't bring, if you don't bring a red journal, or she said, if, if the journal is not red, you cannot, you will get points deducted or you'll get a zero or like they'll make assignments for you to bring in stuff. Like you have to bring in a protractor. You have to show me your protractor, have to make sure it's your protractor. I don't know. I just hate it when teachers are like, you need to have an agenda or you get points taken off. Like, like when teachers try to make it a grade to bring in school supplies, that's toxic. And it's even more toxic when they offer, okay, you get extra credit if you bring in tissue, sanitizer, da 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 da. Okay, sure, that can be extra credit, but you need to provide other extra credit opportunities. Like you need to provide extra credit opportunities with um work, with cleaning up, something else they can do besides that because not everybody has the means or has the goods to be able to like give you stuff like i said these teachers need a reality check like for real so i think at the beginning of the school year like like at the beginning of the school year or like they students come in right before the school year starts and i feel like they should have to take a test that tests like their auditory um listening visual kinesthetic you get assigned a teacher to like that like that type of teacher and of course i know you can't have like five four different teachers. and i mean you can group those together auditory you can group visual and um kinesthetic together you can you can just group certain groups together and i feel like students should have to take a test to find the teacher that best suits them too many times do you go to a teacher and like they don't really suit you because their teaching style is just not your teaching style it's not every student can learn one type of way and i feel like that's a lot of the reasons why certain students struggle pop quizzes should be banned like or if you do have a pop quiz you should have like once a quarter like pop quizzes should be banned like you should not be allowed to have like give kids pop quizzes I had a teacher that gave us a pop quiz like every week maybe two a week sometimes three I know for a fact he's given us like three a week before that should not be allowed like pop quizzes should not be allowed and if they are allowed it should count for a very 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 small amount of your grade it should not be an assessment grade for a pop quiz I'm talking about oh I need to make sure you read no no pop quizzes that's not that's not fair we need to be aware of it like i don't like i just i just don't really like that i just feel like it's setting students up for failure and i mean i get like sometimes kids just be lying and like not telling the truth you need them to start paying attention da, 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 da. but giving them every single week is like a like a setup it's like a fail like if you're just sitting there learning something and then the teacher's like okay we learned it okay now it's time for a pop quiz because there are teachers that do that there are teachers that will teach you a whole lesson and then right after the lesson give you a pop quiz. Sis, I need time to process this. Like, I can't just take a quiz like that. African American studies needs to be a required course. We have so many European courses. We got world history. Knock one of them off. I don't learned about the Civil War like five billion times. Like, I don't care. And I'm not just talking about some like plain African American history. Talk about where we came from. Talk about all of that talk about like our trip from senegal and all like just like we, it needs to be a required course it's an elective at my school but it needs to be a required course school lunch should be free first of all we pay taxes it like i don't understand why it wouldn't be free at least in public schools school lunch should be free in public schools okay i'm saying this public school kind of addition because i'm in public school so if y'all in private schools not everything i say is gonna like be accurate towards you but school lunch should be free i don't care like, if I pay for school lunch every single day, and you're telling me you're not going to feed me because I forgot lunch money this one time, like, a couple times. What? Like, school lunch should be free. They be so loud and obnoxious about it, too. They be like, you don't have any money. Like, you're so embarrassed. Like, you're like, <laughs> I don't have any money. Oh, okay. They be taking your tray from you. You gotta go call your mom. Mom, can you put lunch money in my account? By that time, lunch is over because lunch is like five minutes long. So then you don't have anything to eat. And then if you play a sport after that, you're all like, you didn't eat or anything. Now you're over here crying because you're hangry like school lunch should be free and the thing is it's like it's so expensive too for some soggy pizza on my lunch is three dollars seven five cents that's four dollars for what y'all not serving nothing gourmet like you can get a good meal at mcdonald's for i'm pretty sure you can get a good meal at make like you can get a happy meal at mcdonald's for like that for four dollars i'm pretty sure i could be wrong though but i'm pretty sure you could get a happy meal at mcdonald's with two fries 
guidance counselors are crap. Like, they're so horrible. And I'm pretty sure they're needed because you need people to talk to and da, da 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 But at this point, we could go without them because what do they do? It's a problem for everything. They take like five days to reply to an email. If they do reply to email, then they got to go to you, get back to you, this, that, and other. You're trying to change a class. It takes three months. Then by the time three months are over, you can't even change the class anymore. Like, and then they get upset at you when you're constantly pestering them just to do their job. Do your job. You act like this is not your job. Do your job. I'm not asking you for a lot. Like, my guidance counselor doesn't even know me. I'm on the student council. That's not my job to go up and know who she is. Like, they don't do anything. And then when kids over here doing stuff, like, literally, like, it upsets me. Like, when kids, like, I, I mean, you know what I mean. When kids do the thing and when they're going, when they're depressed... They want to act all shocked. Like, baby, maybe, maybe something could have happened if you were more involved. Like, you guys don't do anything. What do y'all do? It looks like y'all sit in your offices and eat Chinese food and talk about the little girl whose mama drops her off late every single day, all day, every day. Like, math is blue. English is red. Science is green. History is yellow or black. And that's that on that. And then the other subjects are either purple or black. So, like, music, you know y'all do it looks like y'all sit in your offices and eat chinese food and talk about the little girl whose mama drops her off late every single day all day every day like other things they're either black or purple y'all i absolutely 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 hate it when people are like math is red how is math red red is an r r stands for reading reading is a part of english therefore red is with english having a crush at school can be absolutely horrible okay so if you have a crush and especially if he's in your class. If you have a crush in your class. One thing about me, when I had a crush in my class, it was so difficult because I didn't want to raise my hand. And look, girls are like, people are like, oh, no, it's not cute to sound dumb. I know it's not cute to sound dumb. And if I made a mistake and I answered the wrong answer, I don't want to do that in front of a whole bunch of cute people or somebody had a crush on them because I'm like, oh, my gosh, you want to think I'm dumb. Like, no, like, I just don't like that. You know, you're late to classes because you're avoiding the way that they walk because you don't want to see them. Or you're late to classes because you're going the way that they walk like you want to walk in the class like i don't know i just feel like it can be a huge distraction but a good reason for it is like if you you're more excited to go to school i guess zoom calls are absolutely pointless if my teachers make me do zoom calls i'm not gonna do it I, I can't they're so pointless like what's the point everything they talk about on zoom calls they can most definitely do in a post in google classroom and they know it they are so 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 pointless like what are y'all they just sit in there and i'm not putting my face in the camera y'all what makes y'all think i'm about to put my face in the camera come on now i don't know maybe the first week i'm gonna be all perhaps active da, 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 but first one thing is i cannot take anything seriously and if i'm in a class with my friends i'm gonna be cracking up first of all i just can't like I, and if they make us do the introduce yourself on zoom on the on the, on the, on the first day of school because my first day of school is in august it's like august 31st like bro if they do that i'm i'm going to jump off a bridge bro like y'all can't do that that's so they better not come on tighten up tighten up that will be all for this video i hope you guys did like this video if you did like this video though don't make sure to give it a big thumbs up comment and subscribe also make sure to check out my social media i am very active on there thank you guys so much for 450 subscribers we are on our way to 500 um thank you guys so much you guys are really giving me all the support and helping my dreams come true make sure to check out my playlist because i do more videos like this and i'll see you later in my next video for my back to school series bye